what's going on everybody and welcome to your 12th HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be learning about container and empty tags now this is a topic I would have liked to talk to you maybe a tutorial number four or five but it is delayed a bit but never mind so here we are with this tutorial and container and empty tags would be my special attention to you now container tags basically means a tag which has both an opening tag and a closing tag all these tags you see except this are container tags for example we have a opening tag for HTML then we have a closing tag for HTML now we have an opening tag for head we have a closing tag for head we have opening tag for body and similarly a closing tag for body but you look uh, when you look at this meta then we are we have just opening tag of this meta character set and no closing tag not we are not doing like uh, like meta so why is this because uh, this is syntax is invalid now meta there are certain tags in HTML which are self closing or basically empty tags which do not require any closing and for example these some of these tags are um, br you do not close br like this like this this is invalid we have br we have img as empty tag then we have meta as I told you then mm, let me think uh, we have I guess HR horizontal rule this is just useless tag don't use it ever this is kind of HTML4 tag but just for an example I am telling you that HR is an mm, empty tag and we have a bunch of more tags which are empty tags and do not require any closing tag so uh, I would also like to discuss the method of writing empty tags in this tutorial only for example a container tag is written in the following format container tag and a container tag but an empty tag is written like this empty empty tag and either you just write it like this way and or you write it like this way so just like I have written this meta car set UTF-8 in the name of this all the things or tag name and attributes and then a space and then a slash with an angular bracket so that's how you write a self-closing tag and this is adopted from XML standard so most of the times we do not write it like this we just do like this but if you are following a very strict standard of HTML and writing basically XHTML so you need to do like this one because if you don't do like this then your document document won't validate so for our tutorials we won't be using any forward slash for empty tags but it's up to your wish that you want to use them or not so this was a short tutorial on container and empty tags in HTML and if you have not subscribed yet and are willing to then you're free to so I'll see you then in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe.